Hello everyone, my name is uh, Tahlina and this video is about high performance optimization for machine learning models. Uh, my last video were about um, high performance optimization using Gaussian processes and if you are interested in, in this topic, uh, you may uh, watch my last video. Uh, this video is also about high performance optimization using another uh, method uh, called uh, three of Parson estimators. Uh, this method also uses Bayesian optimization to build the surrogate model and uh, also as a acquisition function um, the um, expected improvement is used uh, in this method. Uh, the idea is that if we have um, a group of data like DT and we want to uh, calculate posterior distribution over this uh, set um, First, we should uh, split this data to two parts. One of them is the TLL, uh, which is uh, included gamma percentile of highest uh, quality points from DT, and DTGG is included all other points. And uh, we should calculate probability distribution over these uh, two subsets. Uh, LX over DTLL and GX over uh, DTGG. And now we want to uh, calculate a probability distribution for a next uh, point in our sample XT plus 1. And um, this probability has a form like conditional uh, probability and it is equal to LX if uh, the value of function at this point is uh, less uh, than uh, f gamma and uh, is equal to g is if uh, the value of function at this point is uh, larger or equal to uh, f gamma and f gamma is the uh, lowest uh, value of function on uh, dtgg and um, after calculating um, this probability for um, all sample points uh, now we want to find where we have optimal value and we can uh, calculate this by maximizing acquisition function and acquisition function is here expected improvement as it has and has a form like this. Um, and we may understand from this equation that um, in order to uh, maximize the value of um, acquisition function or expected improvement, we should maximize uh, this value and it means that we should take uh, points from uh, part of data uh, which, are, uh, which has a probability distribution equal to Lx. Uh, and that was about uh, three of Parson estimators. Now I want to introduce you another method, uh, which called, uh, which is called hyperband. Hyperband is a, a suggested method, uh, and it should be really helpful to optimize hyperparameter for a um, large data set. And uh, it is based on a successive halving algorithm. The idea of suggesting successive halving algorithm is like that, that we have a number of configuration and a fixed budget. And uh, in the first step, we should allocate uniformly to each configuration um, a percentile of our uh, budget. And uh, in each step that we run our algorithm, a uh, number of configuration which have a uh, bad performance will be eliminated and the um, algorithm will continue uh, continue until uh, remain only one configuration the idea is allocating more budget to the configuration which has better um, performance and now about hyperband um, hyperband is a method to optimize hyperparameter for machine learning models and um, I want here uh, illustrate the algorithm and uh, in the first step we should um, define R and eta. R is a maximum amount of our resources, our budget and uh, N is number of elimination um, that I will explain uh, in the next steps. And uh, after that, we should also um, define uh, Smax and B. Smax is uh, the maximum uh, size of uh, category, and B is a uh, maximum budget that we define as a um, coefficient of AR. 
And now we start here a um, uh, for loop. This for loop is, um, will be start with the uh, with S max, uh, which is um, maximum size of a category. Each category includes um, a number of configuration, and uh, this configuration are different configuration or different choices from uh, for high performance app. And uh, we define here in this step n and r. N is um, the number of configuration uh, in um, category, and R is amount of uh, allocated budget to each configuration from this category. And, and from a step uh, in a step three, we uh, produce a randomly chosen um, configuration, and here we should produce N um, configuration which are chosen total randomly and from step 4 we should um, start a successive having algorithm and here we have a, a for loop and in each iteration the number of um, configuration will uh, be reduced with factor eta and uh, allocated budget uh, to each configuration will increase with factor eta and here we need uh, eta but uh, in order to choose which um, configuration should be eliminated and um, which one are good, uh, we have here a step four, um, seven. And in step seven, we um, give uh, the algorithm a configuration and allocated a budget. And as output, we will have a, a validation loss. And in a step eight, uh, we should uh, keep only uh, the configuration which have uh, the uh, best validation loss. Uh, after finishing this um, algorithm, we will have a number of configuration uh, and we should choose which one is better. And uh, we should choose the one that has um, at um, least uh, the smallest um, uh, validation loss and uh, yes that was about uh, hyperband I will explain about hyperband and a, um, a version which is uh, better than this version in the next video if you are interested in these videos please subscribe to my channel and like my videos thank you